David, just how big a game would you say this is for Rangers this weekend? <laughs> I think every old firm game's just as big as each and other other one. Um, obviously, all the boys are looking forward to it. We've had a good run of form. Uh, I think we've won nine out of the last ten games. So boys are confident going into the game and I think that it'll be a good game. This time around though Rangers are a lot closer to Celtic in terms of points in the table. Does that give it an extra edge to this one? I think for everyone outside it, it, it can. Um, I think all the fans will feel the pressure. Um, but I think for us it's another old firm that we need to go into. And you know anything can happen in old firm. Um, I think we're confident going into the game. Obviously, we're close on the table, but no one expected us to be this close on the table to us uh, to Celtic. <clears throat> and pff, I think in the, in the dressing room, we all thought that we could do be as close as we can to, can, can to them. <clears throat> and um, everyone wrote us off at the start of the season, so I think we've done well so far. The manager says that he wants to get as close as possible, pushing towards you know the top. He wants Rangers to be the best team. Do you feel that can happen this season? Is there a title race on, especially if you win at the weekend? I think we just take one game at a time. Um, obviously, the big game at the weekend. That's what we've been doing since since the gaffers came in. Uh, we said one game at a time, see how we are, uh, and we've been doing well doing that. Um, so we'll take this game at the weekend. And we'll, we'll see where we are after that. What confidence can you take from the last game at Celtic Park, both personally and as a team? I think as a team, but we, we could have and probably should have won it with the chances we had and we defended well. And it's the same again this time, we need to defend well, we need to, everyone needs to put in 110% in these games. I think everyone does because the atmosphere gets to you, the, you get a good pump in the game before the game. So um, you just need to defend well and, and take your chances when you get them. Do you feel like that game was a, a turning point for your career in terms of you, you, you've come in, you, you've cemented your place after, after that game, um, sort of a present ever since? Well, I think obviously I came in, I, I, I done well in the game, um, but I don't think that was a doubt for me going into the game, that knowing that I wouldn't do well, or, or if, if, how would I do? I knew myself I'd go in, if I had to be put into the team, um, I'd, be, I'd do fine. Is it, I feel now that you're you starting to believe, feel like you're a, a first choice player here, or a, a real Rangers player here, that you, you obviously you, you seem to be sort of first well, in the team. Sheet. I'm just going game by game, and obviously if I've, the more I've been playing, I've, the more confident I feel in the games, and I feel like I'm playing better and better each week. Um, and that's helped to, to have next to me, and, uh, Bruno, Russell Martin, everyone helping me along the way, and um, obviously the gaffer as well, for keeping me in the team. Suggestions this week that Russell Martin might be fitness doubts ahead of the game, you obviously get Bruno Alves there as well. I mean, how do you feel playing alongside of them? You feel sort of comfortable with whoever it is that's alongside you? Yes, yeah, as soon as I came into the team, I mean, I played with Danny Wilson when I first came into Rangers, um, and he was great. I played with Russell, great, I played with Bruno, great. Everyone's I mean, top players to come here. They don't. No one signs here not being a top player, so they're all top players to play next to. Is it that chops and changing though? Is that take some getting used to, or is it just the fact that these guys, as you say, are, are, are good players that make it? Um, it does. It is a bit different, yeah. But it's top players, you know what I mean? That like you go and play next to the top player, it's, it's going to be easier than than what you make it out to be. You said you had belief in yourself in that game at Celtic Park. How did it make you feel the, the positive reaction that you got from everyone outside of here after that? It was good, yeah. So I, I knew myself that I could go and do a job, like I said. Um, and it was no real shock to me, Like to be honest. I went in, done, done my job, done it well, uh, defended, done the basics. And uh, sometimes you just need to do that, so it was good. Is it nice, though, to hear to you that was such a positive response to that? And does it give you more belief? Um, well, you try, you try not to read into too much because you know you could go out the next week and have a bad game. Um, but yeah, it was obviously good to get some good comments and, and people maybe realising that you are a good player, so that was good. And does that make you relish <coughs> this one even more? <laughs> I think they're all just the same, aren't they? Uh, I played in obviously the, the semi-final last year and I came into the game uh, at the in December, so no, nah, it's just all the same. We heard that you, well, the, the dressing room cheered when you found out you were getting Celtic in the cup as well. Is that a sign of how positive you feel about playing them or what, what was what was behind that? I just think that we, we were obviously won against Falkirk and we were buzzing to be in the next game, uh, the next round, sorry. <coughs> um, and whoever got would have cheered anyway. But yeah, there was a cheer, so we were just happy to be in the next round and a big game. Walter what? Smith said today that Rangers need to win this one to show the world there's a title race. So how, how do you feel about How does the, the dressing room feel about that? <sighs> um, like I said, we just need to keep going game by game and 
if we do get a good result tomorrow, uh, Sunday, sorry, uh, it'll be, it obviously brings it closer. Um, but Celtic still have a game in hand and there are six points in front at the moment, so we'll just concentrate on the game on Sunday. From the draw at Celtic Park, how much has this Rangers team progressed? Um, I think that obviously the gaffers came in and he done well before that as well. Uh, he didn't really have much time to get the team uh, close together and, and do what he want, put his mark on the team. Um, but obviously he got the winter break, so he had three weeks to do it. Went to Florida, it was a good good trip. Uh, he got put his stamp on the team, got a new few signings, and um, it's it's kept on quite quite good recently. In terms of the new signing as well. How important is it, you know, to have experience in this derby, to, to know what it's like, to know what you're going into? Yeah, well, we've got Kenny, obviously, we've got Waldo. I mean, Kenny scored in a lot of games. So we've got boys like that about the building telling us how, how it is. But, I mean, for all, especially the Scottish lads, we all know what it's all about. Um, a lot of the boys are, are Rangers fans in there, so everyone knows what it's all about. Do you think having a, a core of, of Rangers fans at the heart of, of the squad, you know, gives it that bit more of determination to get the results in? Um, it could do, um, but I think that everyone, everyone's going to be up for the game. I mean, everyone knows about the city they're staying in, in Glasgow. So I think, in this week especially, the fans will let them know if they see them in the street or walking past that they, how big this game is. In terms of the Rangers are at home, you know, good positive momentum. Who would you say is favourite for the game on Sunday? Well, I think that everyone probably coming into the game will write us off, have written us off on every other occasion. But we, we're not really looking at that. Uh, we're just going into the game, obviously confident for the last few results, and uh, hopefully we can get a good result. People are writing you off. How big of a message would it send then if you do go out and beat Brendan Rodgers? We're not trying to get too far ahead of ourselves. We're just getting on with the task in hand, and obviously we've been training hard this week. Uh, the boys have been in doing recovery and trying to get as fresh as possible for Sunday. So we'll see what happens. David, your name has been mentioned in terms of you know Scotland honours and you know, the national teams get on the hunt out for some new set of halves. Is, is that something that has crossed your mind yet? Obviously you're, you're now a regular on the Rangers team. Is it something that you think you, you can make that next step up? I'm just really concentrating on the games, uh, the Rangers games, put, try to keep my place at, at Rangers, which is tough obviously with the, the set of halves at the club. Um, so if I keep carrying on like that, I think other things like that will, will take care of themselves. Do you think a game like Sunday's is, is the platform to show that perhaps if you, if you are capable of taking that next step up? Yeah, I think it is. I think all the big games are like the Aberdeen, Hibs, Hearts. I mean, if you can perform at the big games like that, and you have to go and show that you can do it against the so-called smaller teams, that that you're good enough for that next level. Is, is Alex McLeish somebody you've you've, you've spoken to at all? Yeah. Is that something that you, you're, you're hopeful of? Perhaps breaking in his squad in the next few, few months. It'd be good, yeah. But like I said, I'm just concentrating on on the game in hands. Like the Rangers, Rangers is first. You know, first and foremost, Rangers. Uh, try to keep in the team, stay in the team as long as possible. There were accusations in the, the past that Rangers maybe didn't have the physicality to compete with Celtic. Do you think that's, that's changed now in the, the past few months? What do you mean by physicality? Well, they weren't physical enough in their approach in the games that the Rangers lost heavily to Celtic. Um, I'm not sure, to be fair. Uh, I think that the physicality, I don't know if that comes into it. I think that maybe before we've not been at, at it at the game and Celtic had been at it and you'll see the difference in, in teams. Um, but when we're at it, we're a good side. And I think if we go on to Sunday and we're right at it, we'll have a good chance.